All right, gotta make sure you're all strapped in. All right, Leaky. He loves people. He loves music and drama, um, anything loud. Let's go. But he also um, loves a bit of action. All right, Luke, right around the corner. Tight corner. Very good. A bit bumpy. Well, Luke started school and he actually started in early intervention at a special school. The school shared an oval with the local state school where our other two children have gone. We asked the school could he go across and spend time with his peers and it just became apparent that when he was in the regular setting he was much more um, stimulated and much more responsive than what he was in the special school. He was telling us this isn't the place for me. I need to be in the other school because Luke doesn't have any speech. So his, his head up was all we needed to know. When I first saw Luke, Luke didn't have a neck. And over that year, in part of Luke growing up, is he learnt to hold his neck up and show his face to the world. That was a huge change. The special school teachers couldn't believe how different he was in that environment and just loved being there and we couldn't ignore that. He needed to be with his peers. Hey Lukey. Hey Luke. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, he's always happy. Yeah. Once we decided that he needed to be in a mainstream school, we sat down, we came up with a vision, what it would look like, why it would be good for Luke, why it would be good for the community and we hit roadblocks, mostly in the education department. And we had to go through numerous levels of people and there was a lot of frustration, certainly on my part, around why they couldn't see our vision and, and the benefits of this. But um, in the end, and after a long process, they approved it and um, Luke was able to go full time. Hey boys. I've just seen him change and just having peers around him that are actually wanting to the more noise they make, the more he responds. The respect you have for Luke, he's, he's a true friend. Like, as much as we all banter and, like, you know, argue, but, like, Luke's always going to be, like, never talk, like, say anything bad. He's just always accepting. Like, I'm sure he accepts anyone as long as they speak to him because, you know, that's what I'd like. There you go. All right. We're just going to go over to where the girls are practising, Luke, OK? When I woke up alone, I had everything. It's not about only the other kids impacting Luke, it's about Luke impacting the other kids. I've known him since primary. When he came to high school, I moved over with him. He is a normal, regular, everyday part of society, just as they are. I believe that the students here are changed forever by knowing someone like Luke in their lives. Luke's in grade 11 now, so we're already starting to plan with him around um, what he's going to do when he leaves school. We're really trying to hone in on his interest in music and drama and um, you know, perhaps we'll send him to university to um, learn some of those things. To have people say, oh, you know, we didn't think you did the right thing back then, but now, years later, um, we believe it was the right thing. And, and to, be, um, to be acknowledged like that was um, important for us. Yeah. Great. Thank you.